What's up guys, it's Blaze here, and I'm actually recording this video right after the uh, the introduction, the introduction to the uh, attack button and targeting menu video that we did just before. If you haven't seen that, by the way, I suggest you go back and watch that one. But uh, I'm recording it uh, almost immediately after because I don't want to lose my train of thought. So what we're going to focus on in this particular video is the parent unit. Uh, give me a second, I just want to check this. Okay, good. We're going to focus on the parent unit and a little bit of the manager here. So if you remember with the manager in the last video, we added in these extra events. We're not going to focus on that. We're just going to go ahead with the create event for the manager. But like I said, we're going to focus with the uh, parent unit. So the first thing that we're going to need is for this one, for the units themselves, their, their only job when it comes to the attack menu and uh, targeting is actually whether or not to turn on or off the targeting um, sprite that we created in that first video. All right, so it, it's going to be fairly simple. Like I said, the manager itself will be the heavy lifter. It's the heavy lifter in the entire game itself, but uh, we'll be writing a lot less code compared to the manager in the unit itself. So for this one, we're just going to add a single Boolean. Okay, so here we have, a, just, just like I said, the one um, variable here, which is a Boolean. And it's all it's going to do is flip true or false. And we're going to do that in the step event. So the way that our little system works is each unit is responsible for turning on and off its own targeting um, UI piece or UI piece highlight thing. Look, it's responsible for turning on and off the sprite for itself. If you have an animated um, targeting icon, then you're, you might be better off using an object that moves to where the unit is uh, instead of you know just drawing a sprite instead. But that's completely up to you. So what I'm gonna do here, all I did for this uh, is I just collapsed the switch statement. And what we're going to do is we'll write out the, um, the actual code that we need and then I'll go through it with you guys step by step. Okay, so let's do that now. Yeah, this is this is fine. Um, I guess if you have an animated sprite for your targeting as a targeting object, you would write here that the target dot x something like this. I guess you would have like let me just put it as a comment. Target dot x equals x, and then you do the same for y is y. The the other thing is for your else statement, you'll have to enable or disable that particular object. Again, at the same time, that might need um, another variable, maybe a global variable might work better, um, but that's, that's out of the scope of this tutorial and we're not gonna cover that. So we actually have a new variable here, which is targeting. And we are going to implement this in just a second, but uh, we'll leave that for now. So what it's going to do is it's going to check if we're targeting and if the current selected unit, whoever's, whoever you have control over, is not the same as the target, right? or the intended target. Because if you imagine that if you're playing an RPG and you want to attack an enemy, you shouldn't be able to attack yourself unless you want that in your game, in which case you won't need this extra check. But I'm going to assume that you don't want the, your characters hurting themselves. And so, yeah, this is what prevents that, okay? The next thing here is it's going to check if the mouse position is in the same, is colliding with. This is why we needed this targeting sprite and we needed to set it to our object is, if the mouse is colliding with the object, then we need to set the draw target variable to true. If not, we set it to false. 
which means that for the unit draw event, we need to put just one new line in. It's very similar to this one actually, uh, with just one or I guess two changes. All right, so here's our line here. If draw target is true, then we just draw a sprite. We draw the targeting sprite. Now, you might be wondering why is the order the way that it is? Well, I want the targeting object to draw underneath the selected, or rather, I want the sprite to draw underneath everything. And this is just a way to make sure that it draws underneath everything. Um, because if you remember, we also have a UI item here. And so we don't want it to conflict with that. And if I remember correctly, draw UI comes after the regular draw event. I forget the order of the drawing. And so to make sure that this comes first, because they are in steps, put this up as high as possible on the draw list. Like I said, if you have a separate object for your targeting icon, you won't need this line here. It will just, in fact, it'll stop here at the step event. But for us, we need this to be here. All right, the last thing that we need to do is actually go into the manager and we need to add that new global variable in, which is, of course, if I go back to the parent unit, we need to put global targeting in. So let me just take this, copy pasting my code. And we're just going to paste it into here. Now it's a Boolean. Okay, so we just set it to, we'll set it to false for now. Okay, so that rounds up what we have to do for the parent unit. Um, if I have enough time for the rest of the day, because I do still have stuff to do, I will try and get the manager code video done as well, but I can't promise you anything. Uh, like I said, um, we're, I'm trying to break these up as much as possible so that it's digestible and it doesn't confuse people. The manager code might take two or maybe even three videos. I'll see how much time uh, each section takes, but uh, we'll see. We'll see about that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a like on the video if you did. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.